In Haymarket, Sydney, I have come to Quezon Thai. This is a restaurant specialising in authentic southern tastes. And to achieve this, they use ingredients direct from the south of Thailand. And how easy is it to create true southern food in Sydney? Oh, Duncan, very easy. A lot of ingredients in Sydney now, you can get whatever you like to suit your food, to suit a southern Thai food, what I want to cook. The smells of southern Thailand are surrounding me, and the chef responsible here at Khe Son is Chef On. Sawadikap Kun On. Sawadikap Kun On. Sawadikap. Thank you for letting me into your kitchen. Now, today, today you're going to show me a traditional southern style dish. Yes. What's it called? Khao uh, Yam. Khao Yam. Yes. And what's the special thing about this dish that makes it so unique? Uh, the southern fish is from the Spanish mackerel color. Right, okay. I'll, I'll actually just show you just quickly. This here is the ingredient of choice. Made in Thailand, salted mackerel adds an amazing flavor to southern food. We'll see that in one minute. Chef, please start the dish. Yes, we start with uh, adding some water. To some fresh water. Yes. And turn the heat on. And then we add palm sugar. This right. is a pure palm sugar. So the palm sugar, the pure palm sugar is slightly softer than other palm sugars? Yes. Right, because a lot of palm sugar is quite hard. And Chef On was mentioning to me before that the pure soft palm sugar is easier to break apart, melts faster and has a better, stronger flavour as well. So that's a nice tip, thank yes. you. And let it boil. Okay. The palm sugar has melted and Chef, now it's time for the rest of the ingredients. Yes. Yeah, let's do it. Now it's boiling mm -hmm. and first we put the Lemon grass, we bat them first to let the oil come out. Right, so to get the smell fragrant. So you hit that really hard and it yeah. breaks open. Yes. Yeah. And after that, we add galango, we right. bat them. Nice big chunk of galango, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And the echelot, Echelots. we bat them as well. Next. It's a uh, spinach mackerel. The salted mackerel? Yeah, the salted mackerel. And next is the guppy. Guppy, oh, the guppy. I should show you guys. This here is the guppy. There's the shrimp paste where they get the tiny krill, cover them in salt, and then it ferments. Now, but I've noticed that you've got two guppies there. How come yeah. you've got two? Uh, I mix because this salty already. Right. And then. This one sweet one. So you've got a sweeter one and a salty one for two different flavours. Yeah. You never stop learning guys, never ever stop learning. This is going to be a very intense flavour, isn't it? Yes. What's this one here? This one is Assam or tamarind skin. In oh. the southern of Thailand we use this. Uh, similar to the tamarind. So it's got the sourness from the yeah. tamarind, the tamarind skin. Yeah. There you go. Very good for loose weight. Good for losing weight. <laughs> I might have to have two bowls of this. <laughs> and now uh, the kafalam lam. We tear it and to let the oil come out. And next is a dark soy sauce to make the color. And then we cover it. Cover that, and then we let that reduce. Yes. So when that's reduced, we then just have to strain it, and then it's finished? Yeah, that's That's so. fantastic. And what I loved, was Chef was saying, we bash all of the ingredients to let the oils come out, because that's where the true flavor is in these nice aromatic ingredients. Can't wait to see the final product. Awesome. Chef Orn had prepared the rice for the cow yum using water that had had blue butterfly pea cooked into it to create a beautifully natural coloured rice. Wow, that smells fantastic. Next step, we strain it and then we can enjoy. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to tasting this sauce. It smells incredible. Now this is what I call personalised service. What a privilege to be served by the chef herself. So, let's see how this is put together. Yes, first I'll put the rice. Next, is, this is a chet coconut and rice shim. We 
par with. So the dried shrimp, that's a small shrimp, and then yeah. you just pounded that until it becomes like a like a Flappy. fairy floss, yeah. really light and delicate. Yeah. Beautiful. And now uh, to put vegetable. Mm -hmm. This is a betel leaf. This is from this one with chiffonette. Wow. Next is the Chinese blocola. So the Gai Lan Chinese blocola. Yes. Yep. And the green bean. Mm -hmm. Next is the lemongrass. So very just finely, fine, finely very sliced. Very fine as you can. Wow. So you actually chew the whole lemongrass piece in the mm -hmm. salad? Yes. Right. And then we put the couple of lamb leaves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then bean sprouts, fresh bean sprouts. Next is cucumber. And next is green mango. So is that the sour green mango? Very or the sweet? sour. That's really sour. sour. Wow, this is going to have so it's many flavors. And now we add chili, the southern. You can't meet the Gotta chili. Have chili. Right, the we're chili powder. Okay. Roast it and we pound it. So yeah. roasted and pounded, so add yeah. that little bit of heat as well. Yes. Yeah. And wow, that's the colour is stunning. And then with the, the sauce, we just put that over the top and mix it together? Uh, yes, I'm going to put the sauce. This is the sauce. Fantastic. Chef Kopwin Mark Cup. Yindi Cup. That is fantastic. It is a real privilege to come here and be in Sydney and have food that is so traditional, southern style. They call it a hand. Thai, not Thai, but Thai, meaning southern food. Real southern flavours, Chef, Kok and Mark Cup. Okay. I can't wait to eat this. When you go to Sydney, make sure you come down here and eat at Kaeson Restaurant, a Thai select restaurant and a brilliant home friendly restaurant. I love it. As I mixed the ingredients all together and enjoyed the wonderful flavours of southern Thailand, I spent a moment to realise how lucky we are to get Thai-made produce right here in Australia.